The first method I'm going to show you for creating a black and white is the image mode grayscale method and this produces a true black and white. If you choose this method Photoshop throws away all the color information and now this is a image that only has one color and that color here is black. If you open up and you need this for mm, say newspaper printing or if you're printing an image with only one color. If you go up here to image mode uh, duotone it's going to open a dialog box which will show you that indeed there's only one color ink here. It's decided to make my ink pink, my mad school pink, but I'm going to change it back to black. And now we can see there's only one color. I can actually change the one color in this image to any color I please. If I click here, I can choose it with a hex color. I can choose it with CMYK or RGB, or I can even open a color library and choose it as far as a Pantone color. And this is a very, very important area to know if you're going to be doing any printing and preparing those images using Photoshop. I can also add a secondary color by going up here and choosing Duotone. It opens up the secondary ink window here and of course I can pick a different color if I'd like. I can pick black and now this image is a combination of pink and black. Also with each of these colors you can adjust the curves independently. So you can adjust how much black or how much pink is actually in the image. If you need to create an image for a newspaper or for a single color or two color publication, this is the method that you have to use.